Hey there, fellas. All right. Now, you remember this here car, right? It was shining so brightly that when we drove past other people's garages, their lights would go out. Wherever somebody had light sensors installed, their lamps would go dark, apparently confusing our car with the sunlight. Anyway, the car is fully assembled. We didn't take anything apart, so it's all good. All of these here LED light bulbs that we bought from a local store, they're all on the car and accounted for, and each and every one of them works. So these light bulbs have a certain characteristic to them, in that they're not afraid to get wet. I suggest we find out, are they actually going to work, or maybe not? Are they going to be able to even survive? Yeah, let's do this. Drowning our headlight car. Will its LED light bulbs survive? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, guys, everything is good, the evening is upon us. We've made it out here to this artificial pond that we've been to a bunch of times before. Turns out that today's the day they've decided to fill it up. They're pumping water in as we speak. Somewhere over there we have a river. Today they're filling it up, tomorrow they'll empty it, but that's not the point. What matters is that time seems to be in our favor. We still have plenty of depth in order to submerge the car. We just have to wait until... The sun sets all the way. We need it to be dark outside in order to see the light, which we should be able to see from under the water. Over there we have our fishing rod. We've brought along with us something more substantial this time. So our buddy who takes part in our doings once said that he has a big crane. Like, we should use that instead of the smaller one we usually work with. And we were like, okay. So we'll take this here big crane, dunk the car into the pond right around here, and then we look on to see how those LED light bulbs handle that sort of treatment. How bright they shine, and how visible they are. I'm just curious to find out what'll happen. So we'll wait for about an hour and a half, but for you there's not going to be any pause. Here we go. Fellas, our preparations are complete. Everything is looking nice. Now, the locals tell us that waiting for it to become completely dark in these parts, well, for some reason during this time of the year, it just doesn't happen. The sun is setting over there, and they're telling us that it's going to be lingering for quite some time. Well, I guess that this degree of darkness will have to do then. The fact of the matter is that down there you can't see anything, which is why I suggest we illuminate the basin and see what's down there. Let's get everything up and running lift the car and dip it in the water. We're about to put these light bulbs to the ultimate test. Let's do this. Start the thing, let's get going. You also feel free to go airborne. There we go. Come on now. No. Wow, it's bright, ain't it? Fantastic! Right, and now we're about to see what's up. Mosquito larva, get ready, because we're about to light the place up. Yeah, you're probably right. It's as if daytime has rolled around. Of course I can hear it. There we go. Beautiful. Amazing. Come on, take it in. There we go. Oh my, the trunk lid is open. Oh, 
We have submersion. It's like a brightly lit submarine. There you go. It's not gonna go any deeper, it's too shallow. Check that out. Looks amazing. Brilliant. Don't see any carps, though. The manufacturer was actually telling the truth. The car is all the way underwater, and these lamps work just fine. That's such a cool thing to look at. Excellent. We were a bit worried. Even when we just came over here, we noticed that the ones mounted on the doors didn't look right. Remember when we opened and shut the doors? Two of them weren't working for some reason. But down there? Everything works, it's all good. But where are those carps, though? The car is in the water, the lights are shining, and we've decided to carefully start extracting it. You can clearly see that the roof, the roof, now I don't know what sort of battery we had connected, but you can very much tell that they're all starting to go dim. It must be the battery that we had, the one that we had hooked up separately to the roof. So yeah, for reasons unknown, it went flat. No more charge left. As for the rest, especially the ones on the flanks, those are fed by AGM-type batteries, which are pretty good, to say the least. But one of the batteries has gone bad. These things happen, what can you do? We just saw a bit of smoke. You can hear them whirring away. The fans are working okay. All of them, in fact. They did pick up some water, but no worries. They should be fine once they dry out. Yeah. Okay then. It's time for us to wrap up today's experiment. So these here LED light bulbs are indeed waterproof. I mean, if they work even when submerged in water. Yeah, so they really don't mind getting a bit wet. Right, fellas, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, catch you later. Time to get away from these freaking mosquitoes, man.